Hello and welcome to my 27th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial from Minecraft 1.4.7. This is Sagai1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, um, quick side note, I've been a little bit sick for the past few days, um, which is why I haven't recorded any tutorials. Um, and my voice is still a little bit um, scratchy, I guess, and I'm coughing a little bit still. So, just um, be mindful of that, that I'm not still quite healthy. Um, so this might sound, the, the tutorial might sound a little bit different. Um, anyway, so this is going to be part one of the tree tutor tutorial mini-series. Um, the reason I'm going to be splitting up it up into parts is that I can get it all set up a lot more easy, easily. Um, it's less stressful for me to record everything. Um, and I think it's a little bit easier to, for you all to sit down and watch um, a bunch of 5 to 10 minute videos rather than sitting down to watch a 20 to 40 minute video. Um, but anyway, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover creating the log and the basic sapling block. Um, the reason I won't be going into actually creating the leaves is because they are complicated enough that they merit their own tutorial. Um, so let's just jump right in. I'm just going to create a new class, and that's going to be block tutorial log. Block tutorial log extends block. Import block. And import or add the constructor. And then we need to add the method public string get texture file return slash tutorial slash tutorial underscore textures dot png. Oh, speaking of the textures, if I open these up real quickly, um, you can see that for the um, log textures, don't pay attention to that, that's part of the leaves tutorial. Um, for the log textures, we just have the basic log, and I recolored it slightly to make it a little bit more turquoise, and same thing for the sapling. Um, and for the sapling, you'll see that everything that's not sapling is, go is transparent, um, and I'll cover why that is in a second. Anyway, the last method we're going to want in the log class is public int get block texture fr from side int side if side equal equal zero or side equal equal one then and that's two ors and that's a zero. Then return this dot block index in I don't like it when my computer does that. Dot block index in texture plus one. Um, since this is the top and the bottom, and we can do this because it is the next texture um, in the file. If it were say down here, um, then you would just put its um, its index. And then else return this dot block index in texture. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, and the final class we're going to create in this tutorial is block tutorial sapling. And then public class block tutorial sapling extends block flower. Um, and the reason for this is that the sapling is, um, we don't want to be the player to be able to place the sapling everywhere like a normal block. We want the player to um, have to only be able to place the sapling on, say, dirt. Um, yeah, mainly dirt and grass blocks. Um, anyway, we have our basic 
um, constructor here, and I'm actually going to say this dot set creative tab creative tabs dot tab block. Okay, and then here this dot set creative tab creative tabs dot tab block or tab. Actually, I'm going to set this to tab decorations. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that again. Um, and then here we have something that might be new to a lot of you, and it's going to be this dot set block bounds, um, and that's going to be 0.1f 0f. Um, 0 0.1 F and then 0 0.9 F and finally um, what's 2 times 0 0.4? 2 2.0 2 F times 0 0.4 F because I don't want to do that in my head right now and finally 0.9 f again and we're getting an error because okay one two three four five six one two three one two three four five six seven eight okay There we go. No more error. Um, now, what this is going to do, if I did everything correctly, let's say we have 0.1f, 0.0f to make that look neater. Um, that's 0.1f, 0.9f. I must have hit the comma accidentally. Um, and then 0.9f. Okay, wonderful. Now what this method is going to do is it's actually, if I just, um, it's going to change the bounds of the block. And what that is, is sort of the rendering, um, the rendering size of the block. Um, I'm not going to get into specifics right now. I might make a tutorial on it at some point. But what this is doing is it's changing it from a normal size block to a not so normal size block. Um, and that's the same as the other saplings. And then we have public int damage dropped. And it's going to be int par1. And we're going to want to return par1 and symbol 3. Now, I'm not quite sure what this does, um, to be quite honest, but I know that you need it in the um, tutorial sapling. They have it in the normal saplings and it is important because some stuff didn't quite work without if I hadn't added it. Um, I tested all this out. And then public string get texture file as usual. We're going to return slash tutorial slash tutorial underscore textures dot png and there we go so finally in the tutorial class I've got all of the block tutorial sapling um, tutorial sapling ID and game and language register set up all we need to do is say tutorial log equals new block tutorial log tutorial log ID and the texture is 0, 1, 2, 3. Oh, and material dot wood. Okay. And then dot set block name. Tutorial log dot set hardness. And that's going to be 2.0F. 
dot. Um, and I think that's actually going to be it. And then tutorial sapling equals new block tutorial sapling. Tutorial sapling ID six, I believe. Yeah, six. Dot set block name tutorial sapling dot set hardness and I'm actually just going to cheat a little bit and copy this from the um, block class if you all don't mind and I hear no objections because you're obviously not here and I'm just going to copy this so that we get it exactly like um, exactly like the normal saplings. Um, and that is going to be it. So if we run the game to test it, um, you'll see I've already got the game register language register set up. So if I go into actually I'm going to not do that. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, so you'll see that in the building blocks we have our tutorial log, which looks really, really bad. Um, but I created the texture in like five seconds, and I'm not, I'm too lazy to do it again. And then we have the tutorial sapling. Now, the um, different thing about the sapling, and the reason that you're going to need to have the um, the uh, what you might call it, the transparent bits, is that you'll see what it is, is it, it's basically two textures that have been put uh, together in a crisscross pattern, and you'll see that's actually the way that the normal sapling works, if you hadn't um, noticed already. But in, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, I know it was really basic and you probably knew how to do it already, um, but I needed to get that stuff set up So for the tree. So in the next t tutorial, I will probably talk to you about how to create the leaves. Um, and as stated previously, those are complicated enough to merit their own tutorial. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.